Hello and welcome to another Raggy's um, homebrew video update. So today we're doing this. The uh, it's the Montans Hoppy Citrus Fruity West Coast IPA. Uh, brews to about seven percent approximately. So you know, fair enough ABV. There's a light shining in from that plumbing window. So I'm just going to open the box. It up. And there we go, there's the beer. Um, I'm going to check the, the hydrometer in, it is clean. And just to see how it's doing. Yeah. Definitely around that 10, 14 mark. So I'll assume that it's reached what it wanted to reach. Um, it's really difficult doing this one-handed. So. On the instructions, and I will read the instructions for a change. Um, so, stage two, you will need the Chinook hot pellets, the Columbus hot pellets, hot pellets rather, and the Summit hot pellets. Add the contents to the fermenter and leave for a further four days. Yeah, gravity blow 114, yeah, main stable. Yeah, it's been that for a couple of days. Um, so yeah, stage two. So yeah, so what I've got and uh, really awkward it's really awkward doing it but single-handed i've got the bag so i got this bag from audi or little one of the two and it's, for, it's a veg bag but it's great for putting hops in because it stops the majority of the hops going into your beer and making it all slushy and all that it, it makes life easier let's put it that way so i'm going to put that there so got the first of the hops uh chinook here we go and uh, this is where it gets a little bit difficult because um, I've got to try and, there we go. Not too difficult, but difficult enough. So I'm gonna pour these into the bag. There we go. Smell amazing to be fair. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see. That's the first lot in, you can just see them. So I'll hold that back under my hand. Grab the second bag. The second bag is Summit Hot Pellets. So 30 grams again. So nice amount of pellets going in. Oof, God, beautiful. To be honest, the aromas are fantastic. Um, I'll get the whole lot in for obvious reasons. So the thing is, I'm going to be leaving this for four days then. So that's great. It gives me a chance to get the other beers um, bottled up and out of the way. And uh, just... So the last one is Columbus Hot Pellets. There we go. And again. So... Chuck them in. Oh, very different aroma on them. Very different. Not quite as a. Uh, that's the more twangy part of it. Um, right, so tie this up. There we go. All three art pellets are in. Oh, quite the pungent aroma, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, just stick it in. They'll do what they're going to do. There we go. It's, it's, I've stuck it into the pool. Um, they'll obviously float to the bottom and do whatever they need to do. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, um, it doesn't actually show you a picture of the West Coast IPA, funnily enough. Um, yeah, hazy, 
Daisy Bright. But yeah, that is my um, the last thing before I bottle it, bottle it up and uh, do it. And I think what I need to do now is just remember, remember. So to leave them, yeah, leave leave for further four days. So literally today, Sunday. So yeah, Thursday. It gives me plenty of time to wash bottles out and go from there. Cheers all.